MD. MD is go. LD, verify go to initiate terminal count. LC, you are go to initiate terminal count. Copy. Houston, you are go for TLI. Over. Hey, so we're back and we have a couple concurrent missions going on here, building up to moving a lot off world and back onto Duna. Uh, this is a cargo module that we've set up. It's um, pretty heavy, but we're still not topping out as much as some of the other missions we've flown. Chets and Mocha uh, is multi-purpose, so it's gonna be able to fly in, pick up this cargo module and ship it out to Duna. Its tanks are almost dry though, so we'll have to solve that a little bit later in the episode. The cargo module uses a liquid hydrogen and monopropellant system to deorbit and land. It has parachutes, a heat shield that inflates underneath it, drogues, everything basically that we've kind of proven out on a couple smaller missions. The HAB modules from previous flights are probably the closest to this module here. It's just much larger. To test it out, we're gonna be sending it and a couple other missions over to Minmus to build out the base. Um, this is a inflatable habitat that'll come in and land on the surface. Um, and add in another contract that we've been awarded by the space agency. There's a lot more living space at this point, and we're able to extract a lot of ore and process that into hydrogen. And we're maintaining the same shipment method using the tanker we have right now. This tanker is able to ship a pretty significant amount up into orbit, but it's only about 100 tons or so in total between oxygen and hydrogen. Right now we just ship up to Tycho and we store into these four storage tanks, of which we can fill approximately two per flight. It's not really gonna cut it though it, when it comes to needing to move things around, so I'm going to have to come up with a better solution for moving propellant around the solar system. To solve this, we're gonna move Orion off the station and go send it on its own little mission. I have a crew on board going to meet up with a lander that has been pre-placed in orbit in a previous mission. This lander is liquid hydrogen, so it was fueled up on the ground, and because it has a lot of delta V from its very efficient RL-10 engine, it will be our saving grace in being able to go to and from Kerbin there. The crew will transfer from Orion to the lander here, and we are going to prep for return to Kerbin and rendezvous with a power and control unit for the Jupiter tanker. So this new method is gonna require in-orbit assembly of this module and another one that we're gonna go meet up with in a second.
The tanker has a little bit of liquid hydrogen on board so that it can fuel up our propulsion and main tanker stage that we're about to go find. power and control section is going to go meet up with a spent SLS core stage that we've used on one of the previous missions. I believe taking up one of the tankers, but overall it doesn't matter. The main thing is it, it, it is stuck here in orbit because when it burns out, it's at orbital velocity. First off, we're going to ditch that ascent engine and it's basically empty, so it's just going to go off to the side and delicately leave and deorbit itself. With it gone, we have a mating surface cleared and we're ready to begin operations of attaching the core stage. This is a very slow and careful process because both objects are rather heavy and I'm going to need to position an astronaut on EVA right up next to it to be able to manipulate the parts. And the more it moves around, the harder this is going to be. The Kerbals have a weight limit on what they're actually able to move. So I am providing them a little bit of assistance here by giving them two lightweight parts, a truss connector and a docking node that is well within their limits of being able to grab. With a node attached, now we can dock with the other element and we have a full spacecraft with propulsion, storage, control, and power. That ship is going to fly to Minmus as a unit and then undock right before returning to Tycho here. The lander will meet up and Orion as we see, will be pre-positioned waiting for them as well. And that will be their return ride. Now, Jupiter arrives at Tycho, and we're ready to dock. Once we slow down, that is. The ship is really, really low on propellant at this point, so we're going to dispatch Tug 2 here, and it's going to go rendezvous with Jupiter, and we'll have a tanker that's able to be docked into the station using a little bit of extra propellant and general torque. It's going to meet up with Jupiter and assist it into the station because it does not have the maneuverability to easily dock with most things. Now that we have a real tanker in place, we can actually move really, really significant. With this tanker in place, we can move massive amounts of liquid hydrogen and oxygen around the solar system and stock an entire fleet for Exodus to Duna. We're gonna send the tanker back down to the surface 
and it's gonna be running circuits back and forth, stocking up Jupiter. While we produce hydrogen, we're gonna send our remaining crew home on leave, and Orion's gonna ditch its service module. This is really similar to how the actual Orion re-enters. It ditches its service module 90 degrees to the flight path to get clear, and then it burns into the atmosphere at super high speed. At this point, Jupiter is ready to return back to Chetsamoka and fuel up the fleet with 500 plus tons of liquid hydrogen and oxygen.